welcome back. We hope you enjoyed our last video which looked at stretches and self-massage techniques for the upper leg. This week we'll be focusing on the lower leg. In this video we're going to show you some really nice stretches for the lower legs, for the calves and also the front of the shins and also some really nice self-massage techniques for, for the lower legs as well. Start by gently flexing and pointing the foot to warm up the area. The stretch can be done with or without the support of a wall. If you can't use a wall, place your hands on your hips. If using the wall, place the palms of your hands up against the wall at shoulder height. Bend your front leg and at the same time step the opposite leg back, keeping the back leg straight and therefore creating a mini lunge. Lean into the wall, making sure you press your back foot flat to the ground. You should instantly feel a stretch in your lower calf muscle. To increase the intensity of the stretch, increase the distance between your legs, moving the back leg further away from the wall. Hold the stretch for 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat on the other side. For this stretch, stay standing with your feet close together and your knees slightly bent. You can put a hand on a wall to help with balance if needed. Take one foot slightly behind the other and point that back foot, but keep the toes touching the ground. Now, without moving either foot, push forward through the back leg until you start to feel the stretch in the top of the foot and up into the shin. Hold this for 20 to 30 seconds before repeating on the other side. As with the calf stretch, if you don't have a wall to lean against, you can use your hips for balance. For self-massage, place your leg on a chair or table. Start by warming up the calf muscle using the palms of your hands either side of your calf and making a wobble motion. Start from the ankle and work up the leg. Then using the flats of your hands, gently glide up the back of the calf and down the front of the shin. To help create a smooth blood flow, it's useful to use the flats of your fingers to work up the calf and the palms of your hands to work down the shin. You can do this three or four times. Now, using one thumb on top of the other and with your fingers wrapping around the leg, slowly press your thumbs into the center of the calf, working your way up the muscle. If you find any sticky or sore areas, hold the pressure on that point for a few seconds to help it release. Turn your leg outwards to expose the inside of the calf and repeat the same movement with your thumbs, this time in a half diamond shape. Then do the same action on the outside of the leg by turning the leg inwards. So we are now going to look at massage for the anterior tibialis. This is the muscle that causes problems such as shin splints when very tight. To locate the muscle, feel for your shin bone and then move your fingers directly to the muscle on the outside. Start to warm up the muscle with a gliding movement, first using the flats of your fingers and then the knuckles. Then flex your foot and starting at the top of the shin, press in with your thumbs and pull up towards the knee joint. Once you've pressed in with your thumbs, point your toes down and you'll feel a pulling sensation, which will help to release tension. Repeat this action slowly all the way down the front of the leg. Be mindful as you do it to do a slight pull up with your thumbs towards the knee joint to help increase the stretch. Repeat this movement two or three times and then finish off by using the fingers to rub circles down the sides of the calf. Thank you so much for watching and we hope this has given you some really useful tips for the lower leg. 
Any questions, feel free to email us on pummelandneed at gmail.com. And if you have missed any of our previous videos, you can catch them on our social media platforms listed on the screen.